I knew what I was getting into when I adopted Dante. The staff were perfectly clear that he was an emotionally troubled child. It made sense considering he was the only survivor from the fire of his previous foster family. Overall, he was a cute kid. Seven and a half with tufts of wispy black hair and big downy blue eyes. We bonded greatly when I first met him. One week in, I began to see troubling signs with Dante. He would accidentally leave toys at the top of the staircase just in the right spot for tripping. Or how I would catch him sneaking around in the middle of the night trying to turn the stove on. Perhaps most terrible of all was how he mumbled insults and threats under his breath when I wasn't looking, whispering that he'll make me pay. It was adorable, really. I mean, his approach was spot on, but his technique was just awful and rather predictable. Poor little naive Dante still didn't know how a real killer worked, or how their ways may not always be distinctive. Poor little Dante didn't even know about the syringe full of Ebola either. Oh, do you hear that? He's already coughing.